for the Batalia portrait, but the Batalia and the, the roller and all of those others is to me, I would say if I group four photos and put them together, I think I'll sell more overseas of your images if they frame correctly and so on. So, so the sixth place is not, is not at all um, what you deserve, but um, that's for the Batalia. Thank you for the support. Annette Schmidt. Annette Smith is the one that took that image of the of the um, the ground squirrel that surrounds the cobra in the camp. It's a good image that just shows you that a lot of the stuff can happen in the camp as well. You can win a, a geographic photo in the camp if you if you're aware. The fourth place. So Jan, um, congratulations. The third prize, which um, which uh, is uh, goes to Omgert. Omgert has got so many images. If we if we say enter your top 50, there's very few guys that visit the Kalari that will take the top photographer with your top 50 images. So Omgert is also a, a professional. He does it professionally now. He gives classes uh, in Bloemfontein on a on a range of subjects. I'm going to put him on the. On the, on the website as well and link his website to ease with the products and so on after this. Ilnas um, takes the second with, a, with a, probably the best, I think it's the best L image that we've seen, not just in the Kalari, everywhere. I just think I preferred the original with a white background. Um, although it's very easy and it puts color and dimension, but I think your image is such a classic fine art image as it was with that with that faded background that it puts all the focus straight into the textures and the and the movement of that owl that's like it's like out of this world and then that branches if you were a, 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 um, a fashion photographer and you got the best model on this earth to take an image that's how you would have built that studio it's 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 really freaky so Ilna it's not the only one she's got she's um She's an exceptional photographer. And then obviously that leaves us, unfortunately, with Mr. Mitchler and, you know, I think, I think he, um, I think that's why he gave a speech because he thought, he, I think he had an idea that he's going to, I want you not to enter because the people think, they're going to think you pay me or we friends you. I just want to say that use second, use landscape images there's uh, there's about six la landscape images of you that should be in the top six there's a, a couple of the, some of the pixel and some of the panoramics that he stitched together and it's like a sin it's like a sin that and sometimes some of these dramatic landscapes move the grasses on this light level and it blurs but you know there if you just put an nd 10 stop and really let it wash to give that ghostal effect you know you're over that so so, you is an exceptional landscape photographer and we're going to concentrate on these landscapes because I think they will sell well, right across the world. And he chases the clouds. He leaves here, he looks at a cloud the night before in the morning and just chases the clouds. He decides in the cloud whether he's going to go left or right because he knows an animal on a subject without a background is a half a picture. So, Yui, congratulations. And I just want to say, um, I just want to say, I, I've, I've taken all of the um, images of the jackal that chase and grab the sand, sand grass and the pigeons. And if you really stick them next to each other and you, and you think composition and fine art, not action in the Kalahari, it ticks all the boxes. It really does. I'm going to speak about it when I do the assessment of the picture. But that water, that forms that wall. You know when you're young, you take the swimming pool and you go like it, and that water goes, and it forms a wall. It's like special. All the others are splashes, but that wall of water 
is something that creates a whole plane. And then behind the water, his eye comes out of the water and it's got a spot on and it looks towards it. And the best thing is that that pigeon just got away. I mean, that makes it a fine art image. If that pigeon was caught, you would not sell that to a collectible in America. But the fact that that got away puts it in the chapter that makes it, it will sell for three times more. So there's a lot of reasons, a lot of stuff that I, and I use the assessment based on, on professional photography, on making a business with an image and the potential sales of that image. So that image ticks a hell of a lot of boxes. You, you know, you get sort of tired of it, you look at it, but when you compare it to the others and so on, that's exactly what you want on the wall. So congratulations with that. But uh, enjoy, for, enjoy tonight and thank you for coming guys.